What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for episode number 30 of Horizon Zero Dawn. In episode number 29, we got a few more tutorial quests completed for some of the newer weapons that we picked up, and then we moved on with the main story. We located Olin at the excavation site, and it turns out that he was with some of the Shadow Karja. And they were raising from what they called from the dead, obviously not raising the dead, but bringing these machines back to life. And uh, there was essentially a couple of corruptors after dispatching with the corruptors and all of those uh, said shadow Karja. We caught up with old Olin and found out some information. And it looks like we're heading to Maker's End next. That is a ruin that uh, needs to be explored. Apparently that is where the woman that looks like us was first discovered so we then murdered olin i don't know if you guys know this but you guys killed a guy uh <laughs> olin is no more but i did promise that i would uh i would take care of his family so we are going to save his family at some point but that's where we're picking up from today as always if you guys enjoyed the episode make sure you guys give it a thumbs up share it on your favorite social media platform so that others might enjoy it as well and if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live all you guys gotta do is be sub to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and you guys will be notified. I'll make sure of it personally. Personally, I'll deliver them by bike messenger. Personally, I'm not gonna be a bike messenger. I shouldn't have told you that. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah. Now next up is going to Maker's End. We are right outside of uh the excavation site right now. So this was the actual ex. Is there's a merchant there now. Um, crazy. All right. So, um, next on the list of things to do, that is the next main quest. Uh, the other one we have is into the borderlands and it appears that Aaron's sister was kidnapped instead of slain, but many questions remain. Where is she? Who is responsible and why meet Aaron at the palace of the sun? Now, technically he just went back to go and make sure that his sister was, uh, that was the body of his sister. I don't know how he's going to do so. Maybe she has a birthmark on her right butt cheek. I have no idea, but we're going to go back and I think we're going to go uh, chat with Aaron now. Also, we have another Aaron, totally unrelated to Aaron. Uh, <laughs> this is the one collateral where I think we have to save Olin's family. Where is that one located at? Oh, that one's way down to the south. So this is actually perfect. We do have four points to spend as well in this little deal. Um, I believe we were going down this, so we're going to go ahead and spend the three points there on Dodge Prowess. Now we can hold circle for a long dodge roll or tap it for a shorter one. Uh, there will be a lot of tapping. I'm just buying it to get down further. And um, I think we are going to go with Aaron's quest now. So Into the Borderlands is next up. I'm going to start heading back, and uh, I will see you guys once I have finally arrived back at uh, Meridian. I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome back, Rocket Nation. Now, real quick, on the way back, I had seen some of these lance horns, and it just so happens that we need to take out some lance horns as well. And I believe we need to use our uh, war bow, our courage of war bow, in order to make this happen. Um, I believe we're supposed to shoot some canisters, uh, some chill water canisters with freeze arrows. That's what we're supposed to do, and gosh darn it, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it right about now. Perfect timing. That didn't count. That went, there it is, we're done. We're amazing at this. We're literally amazeballs. Oh, we might as well kill him now. Stick that in your chest. Oh my Lord. still while I end you. Nice. So there is the final one of the uh, tutorial ones that we had left to do. I don't know how, why are you swinging? Why are you swinging like that? Why are you, why are you taking swings at stuff? Might as well pick that up. Yeah, these still got quite a bit of health left on them. Um, probably just leave those for right now, but I'm going to continue the journey back to Meridian. I will see you guys when we get there. All 
right, Rocket Nation, welcome back. We have arrived back at Meridian. I did stop off and I grabbed a few of the um, free the free boxes that you can actually get from some merchants that were on the outer portion of the city out there across the super long bridge. But uh, we are only about 134 feet away. 34 footsteps. 134 footsteps away from uh, meeting Aaron. So let's go do this. Let's go see what Aaron has to say. Okay, it changed. It's now 137. Feels bad, man. 140. It's going up instead of going down. Um, but if we do run across any... Uh, Uh-oh. There's a deal thing here. Look at look at the deal thing. What was it? It's a notebook. The Mad Sun King. I'll scroll through it if any of you guys want to stop and read this. Feel free. Right there you go. I'm not going to subject you to my out loud reading. Attention, boys! For help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved All right. In I'm looking for Aaron. Who is this butthole? Talk to Marad. Marad? Hi. The bl wait, the blameless Marad. You can't blame him. It's not his fault. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. Well, at least he's people polite. people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets wow. special treatment, and now outlanders from the Savage East? What possible interest could the Sun King have in her? Look at all the people. Asked by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. Day and night, people just keep asking him for stuff. Go to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Hey, attention-seeking behavior. I get it. Not a problem. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Okay, we going that way? Oh, there is a collectible up there by him, too. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron, but I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. Okay, am I about to be flirted with by I a king? I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Okay, you and Ursa? Question mark. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Okay, Durval. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. 
So he raided the other tribes for victims. Especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Wow. Why kidnap Ursa? So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Always come back to bite you, don't they? Um, and questions about the Karja Sundom. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. All right, becoming the Sun King. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? 100%. It's not too far off. Well... I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> it's on the to-do list, I guess. <laughs> Your palace. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all? While men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Ooh. Um, Karja and Asaram. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridia without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. You can't really blame them either. Like if somebody had kidnapped my wife and children and sacrificed them, I probably wouldn't be too quick to forgive either. I get it. I understand. Uh, the Shadow Karja. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. All right. Um, time is short. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Oh, I think we're definitely going to have to stop in and chat with them real quick. But what is this? But, but wait. Founding of Meridian. Okay. A scribe book of careful copied glyphs. I will scroll through this so that if anybody wants to read it, they can at their own leisure. Feel free to pause the video uh, and continue whenever you're ready. There you go. Super good info in there. All right. Um, there's another one straight ahead. Also, Aaron as well. We're going to have to stop and talk to Aaron. Aaron? So, I thought Ursa was dead. And I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. I agree, but now there's hope. 
All right, so quit feeling sorry for yourself. Don't drink yourself into a stupor. And uh, let's find your sister, Ursa and Durval. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while, sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dungbag. <laughs> it was, uh, very colorful. Um, <laughs> so, he got creepy. All right, so the guy's a big perv, and it sounds like now he has a reason for wanting to make it seem like she's dead and take her prisoner because he essentially wants her as more than a friend. Let's just say as more than a captive and more than a friend. Sun King Abad. Abad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. <laughs> oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus <laughs> on finding her and kicking Durval's ass. Well, we don't know if it was him yet. You know, give it time. Let me figure things out. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Why would I? Why would I have gone this far? Why would I? Forget you, man. That was just, that was stupid. Okay, that was stupid. Um, Blameless Murad. Hey, Lord. How can I be of service? This guy it's is. It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? This guy is very polite. Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. All right, Sun King Abad. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. <laughs> well, that's how he got the name, Blameless. Um, are you a spy? Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. <laughs> A.K.A. a spy. Blameless? So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. Right? So they say. So they say. The Asaram border. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Asaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. Okay, that's good information. You guys didn't say he was a master craftsman. Um, Durval and Ursa. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? That explains it. Ursa, so... More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. Okay, goodbye. I have to go. Then you must. Then you must. The music in here is great, by the way. All right, what is this? Why do they all got to be notebooks? Why can't somebody read them for us? All right, uh, I'm going to skim through this so that if anybody wants to read it, they can. This one's a long one. There you go. All right. Um, whatever happened to audiobooks is all I'm saying. So this is quite far to the north. Oh my Lord, it's way up north. This is way up there. Holy cow. Well, uh, we have our next objective, but I feel like Maker's End is right down south of us, isn't it? 
no maker's end is up north as well to the opposite direction all right so then let's do the um we still have to return to ravon for the robbing the rich quest to complete that let's go do that right now and after that is completed um there is the one for um what's his name uh olin for his his wife and his uh child who are being held captive um we might as well go save them see if we can't stop them from being murdered i think that would be the most pressing of all the things that we have to do right now obviously so yeah let's go do this yeah i absolutely love the music in this area too is this something new or did we already have this the liberation data point eight of 18 a lengthy scroll of parchment stamped with a wax seal Here you guys go I will scroll through it. Pause it if you guys feel like reading this novel. <laughs> it's it's a big one. Lengthy, as they say. I know, I'm pretty sure Ravon is, uh, he was the guy that started the quest with us. Also, we got to stop by these gentlemen's. Hey, buddy. Um, can I buy from you a free sample box? I can? awesome let's do it um this one this is this a quest no the quest is behind right. him what did you want to discuss you're an outlander which is good what but a nora which might be bad do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe no nope although some can be dangerous then you may have come across what i seek in your travels have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones okay yep they consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends it's a coffee cup if you bring me these vessels in sets of four i will gladly trade what i have for them oh nice uh more about you so you're interested in the old ones more than interested i study every ancient artifact i can get my hands on but years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. <laughs> I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. This guy's a gamer. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. Wow. Okay, ritual vessels? What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking yeah but which vessel was used for which i have to know i have to continue my research are you sure people didn't just drink out of them that's an idea drink out of such finely crafted earthenware don't be ridiculous <laughs> they must be well made i will say that they did last several thousand years here yes yes trade quickly i have work to do trade quickly um, okay, so we can get reward boxes for them, uh, for trading in sets of four. Um, we are almost there on that one, but all right. So nothing that we can get right now. Ooh, we can get these. These are maps. I think I'll buy them all. Let's buy every one of them. Every single one of them. New maps, hype. Um, and there ain't nothing for us to sell right now. All right, farewell. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. What do my tired eyes see? A hunter, surely. Come or not. talk to me a moment. Or not. All right, so we got to go this way. Here's our dude right here. There you are. Ravon, what up, a buddy? A man named Nassan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow and you'll find the flame so nice he decided to go ahead and help out the people of uh sunfall 
Very nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's 3,000 XP as well. Woohoo! A man named Nassan came to see me. All this. Okay, he's not going to say anything. He's just going to repeat the same thing over and over again. If you're just going to repeat yourself, I'm not going to talk to you. Um, all right, so we already talked to this guy. We talked to that guy. Um, let's put a marker on this one. We have to make the rounds and uh, get all of our free reward boxes. I haven't done that yet here. And before I forget, I feel like it should probably be a thing that I do. So let's come here and talk to this guy. Hey, buddy, you got a free reward box for me? Wait a minute, what? Oh, this guy's specializes in reward boxes, apparently. No free ones, though. What a jerk. Special modification box? That's pretty expensive. So this guy doesn't even sell them. What? All right. Um, the next two are over yonder. One over here. There are three more side quests, it looks like, in this area as well. So we're going to have to go and do those, too. All right, let's Eric, stop. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. I have! Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. So another one, more about you. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. They were a dine. <laughs> metal flowers. These metal flowers. What are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun. For he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next. Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. All right, trade. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. All right, so again, this is going to be another one after 10 flowers, 10 mark one flowers, 10 mark two, and then 10 mark three flowers. So there's 30 flowers in total. Noise. Also going to buy all these because I can't stop me. Buy them all. I'm pretty sure we already have them, but it's just a little bit of money. I'm out of here. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. My Let's noble have a Nora. Shot. No. All right. Uh, next one right a there. Powerful discussion. Where's this one? Oh, right there. Hey, you. Um, Resources. So this one is just all about the resources. You can buy all the res. Oh, ooh, Shellwalker Heart. <gasps> abso frickin lootly We need one of those. Um, what else did we need? We needed a Snap Maw Heart. We'll buy that. We needed a Trampler Heart. We'll buy that. We can't buy no more because I bought all of them. Um, <laughs> okay. So now That's we just need... Me. Now we just need some uh, some other things. Some, uh, <laughs> what do you call those? Uh, now we just need shards. Shards, and then we're good to go. All right, um, so next quest up that I want to do is going to be uh, right here, collateral. I want to do this one. Go to the Spur Flints to find where Olin's family uh, are held captive. So where is that on the map? That is, that's not too far away at all. So I think that is where we will end this episode. Next episode, that is where we're going to be picking up. We're going to go save Olin's family uh, since he could not be saved from my vengeance. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform so that others might enjoy it as well. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you guys got to do is be subbed to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and thou shall be notified.
Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short. Pause, save, and I will see you in the next episode.